Today's lecture is on how to compute minimum spanning trees. So, what is the problem? We're given a graph, and the graph has weights on the edges. We're going to assume that all the edges in the graph have different weights, just to keep our discussion simpler. And uh, we are also going to assume that the weights are positive. Uh, if they are negative, things have to... to you know, change a bit. And we are looking for the subset of the edges of the graph such that the resulting graph with these edges is connected and the total cost of all the edges that we pick is minimized. And here when we say connected, it, we mean that it connects all the vertices in the original graph. The assumption here is that the graph is connected. Namely, for every two vertices in the graph, there is a part connecting them in the graph. So we want to compute a connected subgraph that have a, a, a minimum uh, total uh, weight, as far as the total weight of its edges. And this set T, this uh, set of edges, form the so-called minimum spanning tree, which, uh, if the weights are unique, is unique, and we would like to compute it. That's our task for today. Uh, and here's a drawing of this MST in this case. Um, MSTs are used all over the place. They are used in network design. Uh, they are using in modeling a graph. You have a graph. You want to kind of understand the structure. You can compute the MST. You can use it for clustering. Um, you can use it for other algorithms, for approximation algorithms etc, etc, etc. It really is uh, a really fundamental structure that is used all the time. One of the reasons it's used all the time is because it can be computed quite quickly, as we will see in today's lecture. Uh, history. So, there is a, a guy called, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing him correctly, Otakar Baruvka. Uh, so, he was a mathematician, a Czech mathematician, and uh, in 1926, he spoke with uh, some uh, engineers that were working on electrifying the uh, electrif uh, electrifying the, some uh, you know uh, some uh, uh, parts of the Czech Republic more more directly uh, more north, south. Southern uh, Moravia, um, and they were interested, of course, naturally in uh, creating a connected network for the electric network that would be of minimum length, right? Because you want to use as few, you know, a few cables as possible while connecting all the people up. Um, so he wrote a paper in 1926 describing how to solve it. Uh, this is known as Barovska's algorithm, not surprisingly. Um, and it's in fact a very nice algorithm. We'll describe it later. You probably never encountered it before. Um, and, uh, and in fact, the basic idea are, is some of the ideas can be tracked back to a work by uh, a guy, a Polish anthropologist named uh, uh, Jan. Sikanovsky, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, he kind of used uh, ideas that similar to ideas of MSTs in doing some kind of cluster analysis um, in 1909. So, so he didn't quite talk about MSTs, but some of the ideas are like, um, you know, precursor to MSTs. Um, and of course, the Prim and Kruskal algorithm that we are used to are much older than from the 50s. So it's kind of impressive that there is an algorithm from uh, the late 20s in the 20th century, well before we had computer, you know, more than a decade before Turing uh, uh, thought about computers and so on, so that's kind of cool. Um, although, by the way, his description of his algorithm was complicated. Nowadays, we have much simpler uh, ways to describe it, but, you know, this is natural when you don't have much practice uh, in describing algorithms. 
אוקיי. Um, okay.